Hi, YouTube. How's it going? Another day, another dilemma. I find myself stuck in my own home, a prisoner between these four walls. And let's not even get started in the prison of my own mind. Anyhow, check this out. I may not know how to uh, uh, parallel park worth a darn dang, but I do know how to parallel escape. You see this bad boy right here? I can't believe this douchebag parks like this straight behind me. Unbelievable. Okay, hold on. We gotta handle this. How do you make this more erect? I'm totally not gonna hit Steven's car. Totally not going to. I don't know why you guys don't believe in me. I'm totally not going to. I do this all the time. I'm not gonna hit our house either. Definitely not going to. Backing up. Backing up. Oh, my neighbor's home. Fuck. That's good. Other neighbor, it's fine. I'm the ultimate escapee. I'm David Blaine. I'm the David Blaine of the suburbs of parking in my own home. A force to be reckoned about, neighbors. Don't even worry about it. All right, gotta go. This is awesome. Probably look like a freak from all angles. I'm free! Here are some of my thoughts. Here are some thoughts on perfectionism that literally nobody asked for. I did like a pros and cons type thing. Pro, you might make something really great. Emphasis on might, because second guessing yourself constantly is inherently gonna slow you down. Just 100% of the time. And it's probably a bad sign if the first pro has like a built in con. Con. You're setting yourself up for failure trying to make something perfect because perfect doesn't exist. Nothing's perfect, everything's subjective, and none of it really matters anyway. Pro, you get to think about doing things instead of doing things. Thinking about doing things is lit. Actually doing things is harder. Maybe not hard, but it's harder. It's kind of like when you tell someone you're gonna do something in the future and then you kind of like see their reaction and for whatever reason, uh, that kind of like, yeah, it makes you, kind of dissuades you from actually going through with it in the future. It's like that, but more fucked up and in your own brain. I guess some people call that overthinking. And I guess some people call that perfectionism. I think the only way to like truly avoid that is just to keep going and try to keep the momentum. Oh yeah, this is also a con. This guy's is a pro, by the way. Give yourself as little time to get stagnant and overthinky as possible. Con to perfectionism. It's not a bad thing, but it's a con to that concept. It confused me. I thought it might confuse you, but you're probably smarter than me. Good on you. Creating is a net positive. There is literally no downside to you sitting down and making something shitty that sucks right now. Nothing is perfect and sitting down and making something lackluster does not mean that you've never made anything good before, and it does not mean that you will never make anything worthwhile again. This is a win, win all around W's, boys. If anything, sitting down and doing something right now will give you a better chance of being a future good thing maker, because creativity is a muscle and it's gotta be used to grow. Even just sitting down to make this list was a little bit of a challenge for me because I second guess myself into thinking one of two things. You don't know what you're talking about and everything you're saying is useless. Or two, everyone knows what you're talking about already and everything you're saying is pointless. Pro, it literally can't be both. I personally could never imagine parking like this. What an asshole. Giving them nuzzles. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks. I'm sure they appreciate it. What else? What are you doing? You're so handsome. She's a good boy. Loomis, I was cumin! Can't you see? What's wrong with a little cumin? Alright, I'm trying to learn how to perfect this rock lobster intro. It's not going exceedingly well. How do you do this? How does it go? <laughs> Loomis, you got that riz? Steven's got that riz. Oh my god, I'm so bored. There's a leak in the ceiling from where the soup was for my family. Steven's got that riz. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>